The witness is dead. There was no predicting what would come next. But this is what we know. When the witness fell, the Black Fleet's eons of salvation and death surged. Its darkness merged with the Traveler's light, formed first into memory, and then into shape. This impossible object, this echo of the fleet's victims, holds immense power. And it was left for anyone to find. The echo grants the ability to compel. To control. To command. And with it, the Conductor has the potential to turn their threat into our annihilation. It feels strange to come back to the tower. I look over at the ramen counter and half expect to see Cade. I almost got used to having him back. It's been years since I felt that pain. But now it's softer, nostalgic. We saw so much in the pale heart, things that challenge the way we perceive our enemies and ourselves. I want to say that things will be different now, but it seems the only constant in our world is conflict. As deeply as I want to embrace this moment of peace, we must be ready for whatever comes our way. The next threat to the Vanguard could take any form and strike at any time. Listen to me, I sound like Zavala. Time spent with old friends will do that to you. We face the worst together, Guardian. When the Vanguard needs you, we know you'll be there. Until then, Genocide. Thousands of civilizations across the universe, all visited by the Black Fleet. All lost to the violence of the final shape. That's where this echo comes from. At least, that's our theory. Reports from the Pale Heart. Readings on the valence emanating from the Traveler. Everything we faced when we stared down the Witness and broke its fleet. At first, we didn't know what to call them, but echoes seemed apt. Memories from the victims of the pyramids, held by the darkness. Then coalesced by the light, into artifacts as sharp and fatal as their pain. If darkness is memory, and light is form, what else could they be? But, there's still so much we don't know. Is this the only one? What forgotten people gave form to this echo? What was their final cry at their end? For control? A means to turn back their oppressors? My Hidden will keep searching for whatever answers the Witness's death can give us. Hopefully they number more than the questions it left behind. But we need to stop the Conductor and secure the echo. Guardian, descend into Nessus. Massive amounts of Radiolaria have been diverted beneath the planet's crust. We need to find out what the Vex are building there. House Dusk is making a move against the Vex. Now we must fight two enemies. Gather fallen data to bring down that barrier. We can only assume the fallen here are searching for the Echo for themselves. It doesn't take a Vex simulation to know that would be really bad. They secure it. It will be as disastrous as the Conductor. We cannot allow their interference to persist. The Vex are no match for you, Guardian. That fallen captain is 
retreating. <laughs> they are scared. These caves were carved by the retroactive flow of radiolaria caused by Vex time manipulation. The insult being trained now is worrying. Where is it all going? Looks like House Dusk managed to imprison a Vex Hydra. You'll need to take care of both. The Fallen have released the Vex Hydra. Please continue your path of destruction. The Vex block our path. They're aware of our intentions. Wherever the Radiolaria leads will tell us what we need to know about the Conductor. We must delve further into Nessus. Fail safe. The data contained in that Hydra will allow me to extract the authorization codes required to progress further into Nessus. Bring it back to the helm, and I can get started on cracking it open. You heard her, Guardian. Hi, Captain, and congratulations. You have completed researching your first specimen. I siphoned the radiolaria from a bunch of core samples and stuck them in this as, like, a representative sample. Two factions of Radiolaria are fighting it out in there. Amoeba versus Amoeba. And that's happening all over Nessus. Their conflict of extermination is producing new mineral structures I can utilize to enhance your equipment. So, I'm, uh, calculating the volume of Radiolaria running through these tubes. It is about 20 million cubic miles per hour. That's a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. You need to find out where it's going. Follow the flow, Guardian. It's all moving somewhere, and the Conductor is controlling it. The Shadow Region are in unnecessary complications. Cabal Scions have always had a keen interest in Vex technology, and the Echo is a strong incentive. We crush them on Neptune, we crush them here! Whatever it takes to keep the Echo out of their hands. Taking control of that Vex terminal will allow me to grant you further access into Nessus. Good news is we're halfway done. The bad news is that more Vex are converging on your position. Access granted. Good luck, Captain. Look at all these radiolaria. It fills the planet like a, a, a water balloon. What does the Conductor want with it? If the Conductor can control the flow of radiolaria here, it means they can control the Vex on Nessus. Spreading it throughout the system would mean the Conductor could bring more collectives under their yoke. There! The Radiolaria flow is controlled from this chamber. Disrupt their operation. The Radiolaria is flowing, but we cannot follow it further. We need a plan. Following it blindly will take precious time. There has to be a faster way. The Radiolaria here may contain abnormalities compared to the samples I have collected over my centuries of isolation. I've had a long time to study this stuff. Bring some back, and I'll figure out what to do. Failsafe, you need to know. If we succeed, it'll be because of your hard work here. That is kind of you to say. However, if we fail, I abdicate all responsibility and will strike my involvement from our records. See you back at the helm, Captain. Guardian, I hear that you are hard at work on Nessus, following the Echo and the Conductor. I know you do this in part for me, but I do not know if I am worthy trouble. I was pulled through Nessus like a toy on a string. The Conductor's words still echo in my mind. A copy of a copy of a copy. Osiris pushed through time to find his Saint-14. He said he was careful, but he reached blindly and he pulled out only me. And now, 
I live a life that does not belong to me. I am something left over from a broken timeline. A remainder. The conductor whispered that I should be thrown away. A solution as simple as correcting an error. And maybe that would... <sighs> I do not know what to think anymore. only doing this to hurt yourself, and I will not be a part of it. Osiris, answer the question I need to know. It doesn't matter. Not like this. It matters to me, please. How did I first tell you that I loved you? Saint. <sighs> you had asked me for some things, uh, some tactical report of the... I gave it to you, and you thanked me, and and you said that you loved me. You said it as if you had already said it a thousand times before. I, I was not ready to say it in return, but it was not long until I was. That is not... I do not remember it this way. I, that is not what happened in my... my simulation. We were together in the tower, overlooking the city, talking about something small. And I said what I felt in that moment. And my Osiris did not hesitate to say the same. Your Osiris? Saint, you love me. It doesn't matter how it, or, or where that began, not in such fine detail. Saint! <laughs> 